Is your truck sagging in the rear end? Or is it ugly and rusty? If it is, then stay tuned. We got an update for you. All right, guys, we're out here. We're hanging these up. Like we mentioned, we're going to coat these with a high temp clear coat. Um, this is what we got right here. Whoa. It's the 500 degree engine enamel. It's clear. So it's going to help protect these shocks because they always leak fast or uh, excuse me, rust really fast. As you can see on there, we took a paint pen, just colored in the Rancho to make it look good and the arrow, which points to the adjustment knob, which after we're done getting these all coated, We'll take this knob off and grease it up. That's supposed to help it last longer also. And then once we get a couple coats of this on, we'll slap the decals on and put another couple coats to seal that in. So let's get these. These are already wiped down with alcohol. We just did that. So let's get a couple coats on here, let them dry, and we'll slap the decals on. So now that we got this painted, we're going to stick this sticker on. You have the decal. We got two coats of the clear on there. We're going to pop this decal on, and then we'll put another two coats. Don't have to be perfect it's pretty much advertising for rancho but you're makes welcome it look a little better there you go check that out oh beautiful now we're going to put a couple more coats on there and that'll seal that up and then we can get them popped on the truck actually we won't get them on the truck quite yet we're going to pop these adjuster knobs out and put some grease in behind the knob so it lasts a little longer it's only a couple uh alley Allen screws, take those out, put a little grease in there, pop it back on. It'll help seal it up a little better too. So we'll, we'll show you that step next. All right, guys, sorry, we had a little problem with the microphone, but uh, right here you can see we're gonna be taking the control knob off uh, to grease the back of it. It takes a, I believe it was a 1 8 inch Allen key. There's two screws. You're just going to take those two out you got that done you'll see I pointed out there's only one way you can put it back on so you can't mess it up there's a curved end and a flat end so and there's a seal so be careful you see the seal there that's supposed to help keep stuff out but the grease is just a extra step um, it, you can see the control knob is plastic it would be better if it was aluminum but it is plastic we're just trying to help it out here taking those extra steps ahead of time so just that little cup there you see that's that pushes in and out when you turn the knob we're just going to put some grease in that cup to keep it moving smooth keep out moisture and anything else that might happen to pass the seal there you go then we're just going to put the cap back on like i said it only goes on one way tighten that down don't go crazy tightening it down but uh, make it to your seal seals good you might get some grease that squirts out here but that's okay just wipe it off that way you'll know everything's sealed up good and then pretty much after that you're going to the next step we'll do is take the boots there we'll have to put the boots on the shaft so we'll show you how to do that here in a second all right, we're getting ready to put the shock on the one side we just took off. What you do is you turn this counterclockwise. That'll release your rod on these shocks. Let that come up. And we're going to put our boot over the top. Your wide part goes down, of course, because that's going to go on with a zip tie. And then you just stretch this over top. You just play with it. It'll get over there. Would you like some assistance? I can squeeze the no, probably we're shot. It over. It's almost there. There we go. There it goes. And that's where that one sits. There's a little groove there, which will go around the groove of the shock up top. And that'll seal out anything from the top part. Let me take a quick look up here. Right here. Can you see that? Oh, little yes. Groove. Yep. We're going to set that up around the groove. You'll know because it'll fall right in just like that. You can leave this one hanging for now. If you want, uh, we're just going to put it up there. Then we'll zip tie these down once it's into the truck. 
it'll just go over like this. And then you just zip tie that to it. The question is, is it in the truck or on the truck? Well, I guess it's on it, right? It's on the outside, an exterior component. Inside the truck, or is that in the cab? Like that, so it'll, it'll be zip tied here. It'll be on there nice, so let's get on there and try to get that on. All right, everybody. So for taking this uh, bolt out, you're gonna need, what was it, an 18? No, uh, 18 for the bolt side and a 13 16 for the nut side. Uh, you're just gonna rip that off. This comes off, then we're gonna hit the top. The top is an 18 millimeter nut. I don't know if we'll be able to get the top, but I can show you guys real quick, possibly. Nah, probably not. It's only a, it's only one nut up there. Oh, there ain't no way. So we're just gonna rip that off, and then uh, it'll be ready to slide off. All right, guys, we got that one off the bottom. We're gonna try to work that one off the top. You're not gonna be able to see it because we got a spare tire, because that's just the way Boom. the cookie crumbles. Here it is. You can see why we uh, clear coated the other ones. These rust so much. I mean, just fall apart. The shock's good, but the case on it just keeps falling apart. So we're putting some beefy ones on there. Look at the beef on that one, huh? The beef? <laughs> it's a much bigger, it's like two and three quarter inch uh, tube here. It's huge. So I'm just going to do the job much better. One thing I'm going to add in here just on the side is if you're working under a vehicle that's got dirt, make sure you wear some eye protection or goggles. Uh, Jimmy here will tell you. He's had dirt fall into his eyes like three times off camera now. Yeah, <laughs> always something, right? So right now he's just lining up the top, which as I said, we won't be able to see, so. I'm gonna put a little grease on there. Here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Doesn't hurt to do that, you know? A little bit of grease. That made that easier. Here we go. We're gonna push this up. What do I do? This way, right? Yep. There we go. That, that pretty much. You just tighten these back down. Put that zip tie on your boot. You're golden. Then we'll go over ahead and do the other side. And I'll show you what that looks like when it's all done. All right, he is just tightening up on the last. Oh, sorry. Whoa! Tightening up the last nut here on the bottom of the second shock. This, this one then we'll put the zip tie on the boot, and we'll be all done. You can get that there. This one's a tight one. There you go. I'm gonna turn that knob one turn to the one click to the right. One click clockwise or kind clockwise. There you go. That'll be on six like the other one. That's where we're gonna set them. Now we're gonna pull that. See if we can get that view there. We're gonna pull that boot down over the shaft and then we'll uh actually shaft probably ain't the word I was looking for. <laughs> over the body of it, and then we're gonna use the zip tie. I don't know where the zip tie you got. One. There you go. Use the zip tie to secure it. And we're all done with this job. Nice upgrade. It goes along with the the air shocks, which you could, or excuse me, the airbags. You can see them right there. And then gets us all set and nice, ready for uh, towing that fifth wheel. Is there any uh, side dice to step that with? Nope, I'll go get them. Awesome. Well, everybody, that sums up this video. This was a pretty nice uh, upgrade for the truck. Yeah, it was a quick upgrade just to get us ready to better tow this new fifth wheel. It's pretty big, plus the airbags. We didn't do a video on that, sorry guys, but... Oh, that was, that took a while, that was complicated. Just trying to, because we were too perfectionists trying to route wires right and get the, the pump right. But it, yeah, it probably would have took us like 20 hours to record it, like if we actually... But there are some good videos out there of it done. And it, 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 along with that and the shocks, it's a nice upgrade. Uh, so if you guys have any questions on this, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. This was a pretty easy yeah. one, I'd say. But if you have any questions, just drop them in the comment section. I will get back to them, just like I normally do for all your guys' questions or comments. Yeah, a little bit more about the shocks. It is an upgrade from the factory shock for towing or off-road. It's got nine selections on it. They're the Rancho XL 9000s or something like that for our Super Duty. So we can adjust that 
depending on what we're doing, towing, off-road, whatever. So if you're interested in those, there'll be a link to those down in the description. As always, please hit that like button. We appreciate it. If you haven't already, subscribe and make sure that you hit that bell notification so you guys can see when we uh, upload new videos. We're staying pretty close to a video every week. Who knows what it's going to be? That's the beauty of our channel. A little yeah. bit of everything. Winter's fast approaching. That kind of slows us down up here in the Northeast. Yeah. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah. But so, until next time, try something new. Do a little bit of everything. Uh,